could this be the next thing that's going to power your maker project? Well, today I'm here at Hardware Pioneers with LMO Latin for Filing to Perfection, which I think is an excellent name for this product. So today I'm here with Matteo, and we're going to talk about the impetus. Yeah, the impetus is a module that runs an A7 ARM chip uh, that provides Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, a MIPI CSI2 camera connector, um, an SD card connector, and an LCD connector all on the module. Uh, the key thing being that the module has an M2 connector that lets you design your own board with just the connectors that you need for your application. That means that you get the hard stuff done in the module and then you just need to design what's specific to you. So on the daughter board itself, yeah. are there um, things like, uh, uh, are there like, um, Oh, come on, what are you call now a bridge chip. So, like you know, in a, in a normal motherboard, you have a bridge chip, like a north bridge, a south bridge, that kind of right. thing. Does that contain that kind of bridging, or does it not? Um, not really, no. So, the, the one of the characteristics that are interesting about this um, chip that we use is that it has uh, DDR4 memory on the die, so you do not need to on go the die on the die. Yeah, oh, right. everything is here, so you do not need to go Blimey. out to memory. Um, you do go out for the slower buses, so you have a, a USB hub on the development kit. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you go out with a Fi to the Ethernet. Yeah. Um, but all the fast and therefore complicated to design stuff is all here. That's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So, on this, uh, so, so tell us what else is on this board here. We've got. Uh, there's, there's a wealth of things. So you have uh, fast Ethernet. Uh, you have two USB host ports. Um, you have one USB device port uh, uh, that supports uh, USB OTG as well. Yeah. Uh, you have line in and line out uh, to the audio codec. Uh, oof, uh, a speaker, but that's just for development. You have an expansion board, uh, an expansion connector for uh, flash chips. Oh my god, uh, that's tiny. Yes, it's tiny. That's uh, ridiculous. It's it's, okay. it's going to be hard to see, but yes. I, it's I thought that I thought thing. that was a part of the I thought that was part of the silk screen. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there's an actual connector in there. But that's insane. <laughs> and then you have um, the bug pins here, the usual. Yeah. Uh, U words, uh, yes, yeah. as well. Yeah. And you have. Interestingly, interestingly, we have directly on the module um, the MIPI CSI and the LCD uh, connectors, so you can have very little outside of the module and already get uh, a camera or an LCD on it. This would be perfect for a video-based application, something like a, a dash cam, yeah. uh, an IP surveillance cam, but oh, yeah. we're not really thinking of a specific application with this. We consider this flexible enough that Gen you can use it as generic. the central, yes, yeah. as the central module yeah. for an application that can run Linux. Um, it can be battery powered. Uh, we have actual designs that already run on battery. Uh, this runs a good 14 hours on it. Um, or you can have something fancier, like that demo that we have there that has a big 5-inch um, LCD touchscreen. Uh, it's as flexible as a little PC. It's, it's great. And to be honest, it's great for makers, I think, mm. because it lets you, with a bit of electronics design, get something that's yep. custom to you, but you did not have to deal with horrible things like DDR memory routing. Uh, the hard stuff is done. So what kind of specs are we talking about on the, on the processor itself? Well, so this runs, it's a single core, 1.2 gigahertz um, ARM7 core. Um, one gigabit of uh, DR4 RAM. Um, you have oof, a, a long list of interfaces. You have SPI, SQC, um, USB host and OTG, you have an, an device. Um, the Ethernet Mac is on the chip directly. You have um, 
Oh. Is that shielded part a Bluetooth uh, interface? So yes, so this this guy here, I'm not sure whether you can see it, is, is a combo chip with uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth Classic, EDR, and uh, Bluetooth Mask, so BLE. Um, it, it comes with a external connector for an antenna. Um, you could probably get a few meters of range without the antenna, but don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good enough for uh, for testing, and you can power it either from the, the back connector right. or from USB. Um, on the USB uh, C port that you can use for power, you behind it you have an FTDI. So with just one board, you can get power and um, access to the Linux console. Oh, brilliant! So you, it's, I would say that it's maker friendly, one USB cable and you get to development. So I've also noticed that on one, one feature I quite like is that you've got your USB-C connected but you've actually recessed it in the PCB so yes. you've got that back support as well. Yes. So you're not going to be wiggling it around and breaking it that off. That is <laughs> one thing I hate about yes. USB ports. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's amazing how many uh, other maker products still use uh, micro USB even though USB-C has been out for long enough now. I, I honestly don't know why. I, I love USB-C. I think everybody should love USB-C because it's so convenient and uh, at, at, the, at the beginning connectors were a bit fussy they really were. but they they got a lot better recently and yeah, right. these recess ones are so much more stable so oh yeah so uh, one more question um so let's say you're a maker and you want to get into this what's the first step that you need to take Ooh. so get the development kit get the development kit as always go to our github page and get a build root image uh so oh actually i didn't mention this uh, interesting thing about all of this is that both the firmware and the hardware are open source. So you could, if you wanted, get the schematics, get the Gerbers, and make it yourself. The development board. Yeah. And so I take, I take it that helps en uh, engineers and makers alike when trying to integrate their own version of the, the board itself. Because one thing that I was worried about these M2 connectors is that it's a very, very small pitch connector, yeah. and you have to find a way of getting that to your project. Now, not everyone wants to. Use use a daughter board so maybe someone like me wants to make their own custom board so but, you, but you're saying you've got all the design files so I could easily figure out how to connect to that to that uh, module basically you could keep you could keep the same identical schematics and get rid of the M2 connector if you wanted um, oh, the module or yeah, the uh, both Oh, I thought you were talking yeah, about just the module. This is, this is all open source. So, so, so this impetus module itself is is yeah. open source. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so I could design my own impetus um, product, scrap everything on there, and keep in the main chip itself. In yeah, theory. it would be. It would be. It would be a lot of work. <laughs> really a lot of work. <laughs> but yes, yes. That's, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah, and and that's the brilliant. same for yeah. the for the firmware we we have on uh, on oh, GitHub right. the board support package which is based on Buildroot um, that uh, supports anything after Linux 5.11 because that's where we started contributing to the Linux kernel. Right. We are Linux kernel contributors. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very proud of it, um, but the, the most recent version already supports Linux 6.0. Right, and the next step would be building it or just flashing the SD card uh, with with an image, and it will boot straight straight out of that. If you get uh, LCD as well, it will show you a uh, Elimo logo by default and. Uh, console terminal, uh, but it's a fully uh, graphical frame buffer device, so you can play games or uh, use it for uh, plotting uh, data with Python or, well, from that point on, yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, from that point on, you're a maker, make. Make stuff. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you ever so much for your yeah. time. Absolutely you. fantastic product. Yes, yeah, so thanks. And for those who are looking to uh, design something that's quite unique in their next product, try thinking about the impetus. It could be the next part for you.